So hi everyone and welcome to this uh, video on comparing the autocorrelation function and the partial autocorrelation function of an AR, an MA, and an ARMA process. So what we want to do in this video is we want to generate the autocorrelation functions and the partial autocorrelation functions of these processes and see if we can determine some patterns in order for us to one be able to identify these processes and choose uh, a specified lag order uh, should we not know what these processes are so i wrote a simple code here and it will do that for us so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to simulate the series so you notice i'm going to create three objects here the first object creates an AR1, okay? The second object is an MA1, and the third object is an ARMA11. So to create the object, I use the list command, so that's list. Then for the AR1, I specify that the order would be one, okay? Zero here mean, means uh, no differences, and zero here means no moving average lags. Then what I do is I set, okay, I set uh, the AR, Okay, this one, uh, the AR coefficient equal to 0 0.5. So I expect this to be some stationary process. And I set the SD or standard deviation equal to 0 0.01. Okay, so if I do that, I should get that. So that's my AR1. And it should give me an object there. And what I want to do is I want to simulate, uh, uh, in this case, 10,000 data points of that. Okay, so I can use the arima.sim command to simulate a time series. So notice that object changed to time series 1 until 10,000. So it simulated the series with 10,000 periods. Uh, I can do the same for an MA. So I take the uh, this one, the, uh, the autoregressive lag out, and I add the moving average lag, and I equate it to whatever value below 1, say 0 0.7. So I expect it to be stationary set sd is equal to 0 0.01 and i run that so it will tell that that's my ma then i want to again simulate a series with 10,000 observations i do that okay next uh i do now for an arma so i say say for example i have one autoregressive lag and one moving average lag i can set the ar and ma coefficients to that same standard deviation and i get that then again, I simulate a 10,000 observations or 10,000 periods, and I now have values for three of my series. So first thing for us to do is we need to graph the series. And to do that, I'm just going to create an object. So I'll call it, you can call it whatever you want, but I'll call it combo. And uh, it's just going to be a collection of these three processes. Then I want to just plot them. Okay, so I want to plot. And I should find that these are my three series here. Now note, at 10,000 observations, it's kind of hard to see a difference between the AR, the MA, and the ARMA. Hence, for us to be able to identify which series is which, okay, we need to look into their ACF and their PACF because that's going to give us a couple of interesting insights as to how to identify a unique series from one another. So... Uh, I'll run this command. So this command just tells me the scaling or the number of graphs I want side by side. I want, I'm doing it one, two, so that I can show both the ACF and the PACF of, the, of a series side by side. And let's discuss as we go along. So I'll run this command. Okay. Now, uh, let's go to the AR. So let's graph the autocorrelation function of the AR. And we should get this. Okay, so the autocorrelation function of the AR, if you'll notice, okay, lag zero will always be equal to one because um, the autocorrelation coefficient uh, is always going to be equal to one at the initial period. But when you get to um, when you get to the first lag here, here, okay, notice that that's going to be 0.5, which is going to be equal to your initial uh, AR coefficient then it's going to uh, trickle and uh, go down as we go along. Now, this pattern here of a gradual decay, so note this decays here, decays there, decays there, decays there. 
that's called a geometric decay and it's very characteristic of the autoregressive uh, I'm sorry the autocorrelation function of an AR model so now we turn to the PACF okay and from the PACF we get this okay so notice this is our uh, lag one so this entire line here that is lag one okay and note if it is beyond this blue line here that's the confidence interval okay uh it means it is significant and what you'll notice is that okay the partial autocorrelation function of an ar1 is the one that we typically use to determine how many lags to use so if you notice here the only lag that was significant in the PACF was the first lag. So generally, that's the lag that we're going to use. So one lag and then all other lags are relatively insignificant. Now, let's turn to the MA. For the MA, we can generate the ACF using the ACF command similar to the AR and we get this. So that's our MA. So note, okay, note, now uh, the ACF of the MA process is typically what we use okay, to uh, determine how many lags, how many moving average lags we're going to use. And if you notice, again, zero is always equal to one. Okay, But at the first lag, that first lag there is significant. Okay, So we get um, that first lag. And uh, the subsequent lags are no longer significant. Well, there are some that are significant, but it can't be definitive. So if I were in the basis of choosing, I would just choose one lag because after the first lag, everything else is relatively insignificant. So instead of a geometric decay, as with the a, uh, as with the ACF of an AR1, we see an immediate cutoff. Okay. Now, if we compare it to the PACF, we see this one, which is more that geometric decay. In this case, there's an oscillation, okay, that up and down movement that you see there. And that's characteristic of the MA. Um, PACF process that we see. Now, when we turn to ARMA, okay, when we turn to ARMA, uh, typically we see both a geometric decay, okay, we see both a geometric decay in the autocorrelation function and the partial autocorrelation so function. So, just to summarize all of it, okay, uh, in the AR, okay, we determine the number of flags typically using the PACF because that's where the cutoff lies for the ma we use the acf okay so those are your lag selection tools uh, apart from the other information criteria that we'll take in the other vid in the upcoming videos uh, and just to summarize let's graph all of them together so this should graph all of them together and let's see it's gonna graph i think it's gonna graph or it's just waiting uh and here there so for an AR1, again, we have an, uh, an ACF that is geometrically decaying with a PACF that uh, cuts off after the first lag. For an MA1, we see the cutoff immediately um, in the ACF and an oscillation or a geometric decay in the PACF for the MA1. Then we see a geometric decay or an oscillation in both ACF and PACF in an ARMA model. And that's how to determine the number of flags and how to determine the model okay, when, it's, uh, when you're only given or when, you, when you're graphing autocorrelation and partial autocorrelation functions.